Hi everybody, Matt Geary from Geek Pride here, and I have got something special to show you. Yes, as uh, many of you will know, I'm a bit of a Halo fanboy. Well, maybe not a bit. I'm a massive Halo fanboy. And this turned up today. Oh yeah, Halo 5 Guardians Limited Collector's Edition right here. Now, this isn't particularly an unboxing because it's already out of its box behind here. Um, I'm just showing you the box that it came in because I can't be bothered sort of opening things. It's a very nice box. You open it up, it's got some uh, polystyrene and stuff so it keeps it all nice and firm together. And I'll show you what you get inside. So we're going to move this out of the way. So take the awesome box. <laughs> Right, so look at this. Now right. we'll move it forward. Okay, can you see that? You get this awesome statue, like literally a Mia's Ball statue. It's about twice the size of the Halo Reach one, which I have around the corner, which is probably sort of about this and like this for some of you who got it. But yeah, look at it. It's freaking amazing. This, I, I saw this in game, and I was just like, must have. And check this out. Oh no, Spartan Locke's head's fallen off. But, there's a little drawer in the back you can take. Oh yeah. There we go. Spartan Locke's head's on again. So yeah, so you can choose between Spartan Locke with his helmet off or helmet on. No, obviously you can't take the Master Chiefs off because nobody knows what the Master Chief looks like. But yeah, that's it. Another thing, obviously, because the whole game is about sort of like, you know, yeah, Spartan Luck. Yeah, Master Chief fighting each other. Or are they fighting together? With these like magnets and stuff to keep it keep it nice and strong. So that's pretty office. Pretty amazing. Pretty heavy. But yeah. Look at that. I kind of cried a bit. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the statue. That's the amazing statue, which is amazing balls. I'm so impressed with that. <laughs> like, really impressed with that statue. Um, okay. So you also get this as well, which is obviously uh, where the game comes in. Now, um, you don't get a CD, which is slightly annoying. Um, I kind of like having a CD. But you, you get a, a download. Now I can't obviously download it yet because it's not launch day yet. But you get this little box. So we'll put it here. Do some close-ups with it. So you get this like uh, uh, orders card. Obviously you get your game. Um, the limited dis digital content. So Halo Guardians, Warzone uh, Rec Bundle, Halo Fall of Reach Animated Series. Um, obviously a little scratchy thing in the back. And then all the other stuff that you can spend your money on. So like it's in there. Obviously you get your standard uh, Join Xbox Live thing, which we usually use when we've got people around and we want to play multiple games. You get this thing. Now I haven't opened this yet, so uh, I, I don't like opening things. I'm a, I keep them in the box sort of guy, but here we go. We're gonna open it. Uh, and we get. Ah, so it's like dossier cards. So you've got all the different. Uh, you've got all the different Spartans. So you've got Blue Team. And then you've obviously got uh, whatever Spartan Locks team's called. Um, but yeah, so you've got the two sets, so I'm guessing the whole aim of the, uh, this game is it's all about being a team player. It's all about being a team player. So we've got two sets of those, so that's pretty cool. We'll stick them back in the envelope. Actually, no, we won't. We'll stick that back over there. Right, what else we got? Yeah, oh, okay. So we've got this sort of like metal-y thing. Which looks like brass etchings that you get in sort of like 40k or something put in your guys. Got two sets of these. And you get instructions. 
Ah, right, okay. So, it's a Metal Earth 3D laser cut model. And... These are the instructions. So these some zoom ins and stuff for you. But these are the instructions. They're kind of complicated. <laughs> I spend a lot of my time making models. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. That's another that's another model. That looks pretty awesome. So yeah. Okay. So you think, oh that's it, Matt. That's it. You know? Awesome statue. The game, obviously with all the extra content and stuff. Is that it? <laughs> no, it's not. That's not it at all. <laughs> We've got one more thing. And literally, I've been running around the house with this. <laughs> it's a needler. Check it out. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it goes. It shoots. And you can reload. Freaking awesome is that? Oh, I need to reload. <laughs> yeah. I think I kind of need jewelry with these things. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> it's pretty big, and it's pretty heavy. When I when I saw it, I thought, you know, I'm going to get a needler. I was sort of thinking something like this, you know, not something like this, which is huge, absolutely huge, but yeah, um, that's pretty amazeballs, so yeah, I'm really impressed with this right now, <laughs> I've been like a child at Christmas, I came in and there was two boxes, and the boxes for the Needler has a um, obviously limited edition Needler thing on it, and you're just like, oh my god, it's kind of awesome, so yeah, um, I'm really buzzing. I'm just going to have to figure out where I'm going to put this, because it's pretty massive. And, um, yeah, it's all good. Um, looking forward to playing the game next week. I'm really looking forward to playing the game, though, I've been told there's no four-way co-op, or four-way sort of kind of multiplayer on the on the one Xbox, which is going to be slightly annoying, because I usually have, um, like, LAN parties with, like, four TVs and 16 people and Halo and stuff, so that'll be rather annoying, but hopefully, as time goes on, they might change their minds, or who knows, we don't know. I haven't played the game yet, I didn't even play it at uh, EGX, so we'll see. But yeah, that's it, Collector's Edition, pretty awesome, freaking amazing statue, freaking amazing needler, brill. <laughs>